Good morning, good morning everybody. I'm back in the truck. I haven't filmed much this past week, but I was home over the whole week. Got a lot done. We got our house painted. We went on a nice date there. I took you along for that one. You gotta, you gotta come along on our anniversary date, you lucky people. That was our last video. And after that, we had a few other things, a few other projects that we'll talk about in the near future here, but uh, I needed time at home to get that all done. And we got the ball rolling on many things. So now I'm back in Old Blue. We're gonna go pick up a trailer and head to Kenora. There's a load there that's waiting for me. It needs to go down to Minnesota. trailer I'm looking for a step a really really nice step a nice step deck let's see let's see I saw one over here which one's this this is 101 it's 116 D over here there's 121 D but that has a red tag on it looks like 116 is right here oh I'm taking that one I am taking that one yep that's our baby right there. It's coming with us. We're gonna go put some engineered lumber on it. That's what they call it, I think. It's fancy lumber. You gotta tarp it. All right. Hope this one's all good to go. We'll do our pre trip on it and find out. I'm just gonna back, just gonna scooch right under the. Oh, yeah, before I go under there, I wanna put grease on my fifth wheel. I, uh, where are they here? Hopefully they didn't burst inside here. <laughs> Bought a bunch of these just recently. So uh, you put them on your fifth wheel and you just leave them in the plastic. And then when you go underneath the trailer, they burst open and then they grease everything. I want to put these on uh, at least every week. But uh, most times when I switch trailers, especially, but if I hold on to a trailer for more than a week, which isn't very common for me, I put it on there once a week. All right, I'll show you how we use these. I don't think I've ever shown you this before. So you see how the fifth wheel is gonna slide right under there. Let's put one of these right there like that. Get that piece of straw out of there. We don't need that in there. We go do one on the other side as well. Right around, yeah, right around there, yeah. yeah. Try not to get any on your fingers dang it oh that stuff is hard to get off oh no it's on my hand fail okay we're gonna put it says right on there where to put it right easy to use grease packet for fifth wheel provides corrosion and rust protection able to withstand extreme pressures waterproof and tacky grease extremely long lasting right there about right I think and then you just I usually let the air down out of my tra truck and get those underneath there just a bit and then lift it up I actually want to move these back just a touch right about there ah, I got it on my finger again ah, shoot. shoot they're on the rubber just so that when the trailer touches here it pushes it up there right so it's all greased we'll do the other side too all right we're gonna go and do our walk around here Marker light, March 2024, and it is currently September 2023. So it's good until next March. The trailer is safety. Marker light. Marker light and signal. Marker light. Tires inflated with premium autumn air. It's good. ABS light off. Good. On the back, we got brake lights, and we got signal lights, and we got marker lights. How about here? Let's check these tires. Oh, yeah. 
Yep, you can tell that's premium autumn air just by the way, way that they are. You got a marker light and a signal light. Marker light right here. Marker light there. We're ready to rock. We got mud flaps. The trailer looks like it's in good condition. I saw no cracks on the frame as I was walking around it. Let's go. Let's go get, let's go get our load. Everything's a mess back there. Don't mind this general area. All I did is I threw it all in there. I'll organize it later. We need to go get our load first. Priorities, first you get the freight. Make sure you get it tied down, tarped. Get on your way, make sure you're on time. Then we can organize everything, make everything look pretty in here. Okay. Let's just make sure our trailer's attached. Just gonna pull forward and spike the trailer brake. Make sure it doesn't fall off. Oh yeah, there's another little tug right there. No, my truck and that trailer are now married. Lovers. Joined at the fifth wheel. Fifth wheel is all nice and greased, by the way. And that's also nice to know. I haven't always done that. I've been kind of bad with always keeping my fifth wheel greased between services. I need to get on that. So I bought this box of those packets. It's kind of pricey, you know, it's over 100 bucks. It's like 130 bucks for, uh, is it 10 packets, I think? Around $5 per packet. That's what it came out to. And if I switch them or do them once a week, that's 10 bucks a week. Canadian, so like 750 American a week. summertime so I don't usually have a problem with the trailer tires being locked up but you got to make sure anyway in wintertime sometimes the brakes freeze to the brake drums if you drop the trailer when the brakes are hot and then you set the brakes then they freeze to the brake drums because of the condensation there's another guy here well, where are you going you want me to you want me to go okay <laughs> confusion in the yard here we got it all right, rock and roll, guys. Let's go make some money. Got stuff to pay for. We gotta make money that I've already spent. This is Highway 59, south of Winnipeg. We're gonna turn left, which is north towards Winnipeg. And then we're gonna hit the perimeter south side there, the southeast side, we're going to go eastbound to the Trans-Canada, then take the eastbound Trans-Canada all the way east to Kenora. It's about a two hour drive from here. Maybe about two hours and 20 minutes with all the construction they got going on inside Ontario. Got lots of time. We're on schedule. coming from our right. Are you turning? He's turning. Okay. I'm going to wait for him. Once this traffic has passed us, then we'll be on our way officially. Officially, officially. On our way. There you go. There goes that guy. Okay. The next guy coming's in the right lane, so I'm going to take the left lane and put my hazards on. The please don't hit me lights. Books of 
record, we are on our way. Yeah, this guy's definitely going really slow. Ah, I should have just gone in front of him. Oh, we're gonna go around him. It's the beginning of my day, don't mess it up. Here's our load, tarped and ready. Let's take it down to Brainerd. We're sitting at about 78,000 pounds.
So I'm in a little rest area just before Fort Francis, which is that way. And I've noticed something about my marker lights. Now everything kind of looks normal up there from here, right? Look a little closer. Look a little closer at the top ones. Can't see it yet. Closer, 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 closer. Can you see it? The front. The front one, right on the left here, is burnt out. Well, it's not burnt out, it's not working anymore. But the top and sides are still working. So, I mean, it's not that obvious, but it's obvious at the same time, right? So I uh, went ahead and I ordered new ones. Marker lights are quite important to have on the truck, and if one is burnt out, I need to get it replaced as soon as possible. All the other ones are working up there. It's just the front of that one. So they come in packs of five, and I found the cheapest, cheapest one I could find that is the exact same as this. There was one uh, on Amazon, one seller that wanted over $200 for five of those. No, no, that was the seller I bought from last time. They raised their prices, almost doubled it. I found another seller selling the exact same ones for $100, half price. And that comes with five lights and the whole housing assembly. I couldn't find these exact lights on their own without the, the assembly. Now that chrome assembly, I don't really need it. But even on the website of the parts that come from Partsam, P-A-R-T-S-A-M, even on there, they did not sell just the clear lens 17 LED lights that I was looking for. It's a specific one because there's one that's super bright and there's one that's just normal. These are all the super bright ones. So I didn't want to put just one normal one on there while all the other ones are super bright. That's going to look even worse than having that burnt out. So I had to get the exact same one and their clear lens, which are more rare, of course. That was my choice to put them on there. So uh, it's about 20 bucks a light. So now as these get older and other ones start to malfunction, I'll have spares. It's always good to have spares. I'm at the gate, and I'm first in line. Yeah, first in line for tomorrow morning, so 7.30, that gate opens right there. And these wheels will be rolling right in there. First, unless if someone tries to cut in front of me. Won't let that happen. So this marker light that's burnt out, I've been debating whether or not I need to replace it right now. I know the video, you can't really see it because my other lights are so bright. But it's this left one on the front here. I'll show you it one more time if you couldn't see it in the last clip. I think it's... You see it, right? In the video, it makes it look like it hardly makes a difference. But in real life, you can definitely tell. And if there's one thing on my truck that I have a little bit of OCD over, it's the lights. Ask my wife, ask my family, my parents, when I was a kid growing up. Lights, I like lights. And it's gonna drive me absolutely insane if one is not lit up correctly. So I've been thinking, you know, maybe I should hold off. Maybe I should. We got a whole bunch of things going on at home right now that uh, need my attention. But at the same time, 
I need to maintain my truck. And I always preach that you should fix the little things when they're, when they're little and not wait until they're big things, right? I don't want to wait until all of them are burnt out and suddenly I have to buy all 10, right, for the top, for both rows on the top. And when little things happen to the truck, I like to fix them right away. I don't like to let them fester because even if, even if that uh, no more lights burnt out like that, if one fails, I'm guessing at least another one's going to fail soon. That's why I bought a set of five, right? If one fails, usually another one's going to fail soon. It's a faulty. They're not supposed to fail like this, but it happens. But even if, it, if none of the other ones fail, if I leave that light to be fixed later, well, by the time I get around to fixing that light later, something else will be broken. And then if I leave that to be fixed later, something else will be broken. And then I've got three things to fix instead of just the one all at once. It's best just to take care of them right away. And besides, if I had a driver in this truck, uh, I would definitely, without question, I wouldn't even question it, I'd just replace it because I want my driver to drive a nice truck, right? And I'm my own driver, I work for myself. So I think my driver should have a nice truck where all the lights work. I'm a good boss, I think. I just want my driver to be happy with the truck he's driving. The driver just happens to be me. But even if it was someone else, <laughs> I wouldn't want them driving around a truck with a burnt out light. It looks bad. Everyone notices that, or maybe it's just me. Because I'm kind of OCD when it comes to lights. If I walk through a truck stop and I see someone with a burnt out marker light, sometimes I just stop there and stare at it. Not to be rude, but just because I can't stop staring. It just, my, my brain is just like short circuiting. Just, why is a light burnt out? Fix it. It's not that expensive. So the lights I found, yeah, it was a hundred bucks for five. That's about 20 bucks each. They are clear lens LEDs, so they are more expensive than the incandescents. They are super bright LEDs. That's uh, for looks and for safety. You want to be able to be seen on the road. And I also really like lights. I, don't know, I was kind of warring with myself in my head tonight whether or not I should just cancel that order. But uh, I think I'm at the conclusion now that uh, I need to fix things uh, when they're small. Be okay. And then I'll have lots of extras, right? Because one burns out or one, one is faulty. Chances are there's going to be another faulty one. So far, all of them are, all the rest of them are working fine. But, yeah. Is what it is. Is what it is. It's always something. In trucking, it's always something. There's always something going on. Like in fall here, I got to replace these steer tires. Yeah, that's going to be close to $2,000. Between $1,500 and $2,000 for new steer tires. I gotta do that. Uh, I think with the way they're wearing, let's see if anything's changed. I think I'll be able to get away with maybe doing them around Christmas or New Year's. Maybe even the beginning of the new year. Then I can put those expenses on next year. <laughs> and make it look on paper like I made more money this year. <laughs> it's always good when you're out there looking for houses, right? Make it. <laughs> put those expenses on this year's expenses well then that's got to be shown you get it i'm tired i think i'm gonna go to bed gotta be up early remember i'm first at the gate but that doesn't mean i'm not gonna get uh you know bumped down the line if i don't get up in time because uh, i can't block the gate obviously and if i don't get up on time you you can guarantee it that someone's gonna come down this driveway blow right past me and go right through that gate they don't care that i'm waiting here for all they know, I got here at like 5 in the morning and I'm sleeping. So I have to be with it. Gate opens at 7.30. That means I've got to be up and around and ready to go at 7. So the second they open that, I'm in there. And if anybody comes in here, if anybody comes in here and tries to cut in front of me, I can jump out of my truck and say, up, 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 up. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You back up.
So thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. I gotta go back there and clean up this mess. It was embarrassing. I got to the border and they, at the International Falls Crossing, they like to jump in the truck and just make sure you don't have any, you know, kidnap victims or something in your sleeper. They wanna make sure that you uh, don't have any fresh fruit. Yeah, those two things, you don't wanna have either one of those, you know? You don't wanna have any kidnap victims in your sleeper and you definitely don't wanna have any fresh fruit in your truck either. They don't like either of them. <laughs> uh, so they, they, anyways, they, they took a peek in here and they jumped in the truck. They peeked and sniffed around a little bit, make sure that I'm all good, that I'm what I say I am, that I, I'm not up to any bad things. And I, I got nothing to hide except my mess. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. I got back into the truck. I totally forgot that I didn't put anything away yet, right? I literally, literally got in the truck. I was in such a rush this morning. I just threw it all on the bed and just <laughs> took off. And now I'm here at my destination, I'm gonna organize it all. But I got back into the truck and I was looking, and I was like, oh, that guy just thinks I'm the biggest slob right now. He probably saw the truck and he's like, oh, good, well, I'm a good truck driver. I try to keep the outside of the truck looking clean and nice, right? Yeah, and he steps inside, he's like, oh, he's one of those. Just mess everywhere. Everything is just all over the place. Oh, uh, I'm not that person. I'm not that person, okay? I'm a little bit that person, but not this bad. Not this bad. So I gotta go clean that up and uh, make things right with myself in my head. Everything's gotta be neat in order. All the lights have gotta work, and everything's gotta be in its place. Sometimes it gets a little messy. Sometimes it, gets, it looks a little bit chaotic, a little bit, little bit, but everything has its place, and all the lights have to work. And then I can sleep well at night. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe, be safe, and as always, drive safe out there, please. Talk to you tomorrow.